To me, that says, again, we're back to a system of unfairness. Governor Kathy Hochul in Rochester today proposing changes to bail reform in New York. Good evening, everyone. Hochul was at the Boys and Girls Club of Rochester this morning touting a number of public safety investments as part of her 2024 executive budget. There, she also broke down changes she would like to see made to bail reform standards. Isabel Garcia joining us now live in Rochester with more on all this. Isabel. Yes, good evening to both of you. Much of the proposals were surrounding boosting support for various agencies at every level to work more efficiently in tandem with each other's state police, things like that. Things like increasing funding for district attorneys across the state as well and doubling state police academies to four graduating classes each year and some investments in community-based organizations as well, things like Project Rise and things like that. But bail reform did come up, something that's been a hot-button issue for several years here in New York. Now, the governor stood by her support of bail changes first incorporated in 2018, stating systemic issues came to light that needed to be addressed, but she admitted those changes swept up too many crimes. She then talked about changes her administration made last year, putting in standards for judges to consider that were not there before. This putting ultimately more power in the hands of judges to set bail. However, she now says that may also have innate bias, such as philosophical beliefs or political leanings, things like that, for each judges that make that discretion. Now she says she's open to reversing that. We have this inconsistency in the law. Confusion is understandable. And I want to make sure that we remove that one standard, give them criteria to look at, and I want to make sure that a judges have what they need. So removing the least restrictive means standard for bail eligible cases, which are the serious violent offenses, is what we're going to be looking for. And city council members at large, Kim Smith and Stanley Martin, issuing a joint statement immediately following the governor's address, actually condemning it, saying the proposals fail to make adjustments and policy changes that will actually make communities safer, things like housing and quality community-based mental health treatments, things like that. And we have all this also on our website over at rochesterfirst.com. For now, though, we'll send it back to you at the desk. Reporting live in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you for the statement from city council members and a breakdown of Hochul's investments. We have it all on our website right now, rochesterfirst.com.